In this exercise, we're going to build up a drawing entirely from tonal values. That is, variations from lightness to darkness. So we're not going to have any lines around the edge of objects. We're going to just build it up by looking at how different the darkness is through the whole three-dimensional uh, composition. So all of the compositions are set up so that there's a glass, a metal and a ceramic object on a cloth which has some kind of geometric pattern in it. And each of the still lives are set up so that objects overlap one another, occlude one another, and this helps to give the composition a lot of kind of 3D. Now the very first step to doing uh, a tonal rendering of different values is what I'd like all of you to do now is to make a long rectangle and to divide it into eight little squares and put numbers one to eight next to it and then in square number eight I want you to use the point of your charcoal to make it the darkest you can going up to white which you leave totally empty. Okay that's great, well now that you've done your eight um, different values we call them, going from darkest to lightest. What I'd like you to do is cover the whole page except for that strip with number three. Okay, you see value number three but all go in the same direction. It doesn't matter what direction you go in but use the side of your charcoal and go fill up the whole page right out to the very edge as smoothly as you possibly can. Right, now that we're all prepared to start, we have to realise that the world is not divided up into eight different values. Obviously this is an arbitrary way that we're dividing up the lights and the darks of a scene. We, we could have divided it up into four, we could have divided it up into a million, but we've divided it up into eight. So that means when we look at our still life, we have to say to ourselves, well, whatever the very lightest thing is that we see there, that's going to be one. And whatever the very, very darkest thing we see there, that's going to be eight. And then we're going to work our way into the middle. So it's very important that you follow sequentially the steps as I tell you. There's a very good reason behind this is because the more that you look at something, the finer your perception of it and the more detail you're able to see. So we're going to start off with number one. We're going to look at our still life and we're going to say, what is the very, very brightest thing I can see here? Well, obviously for this one, it's the highlights on this glass. For some other people, their metal objects may be the brightest and so they're, they're going to be the shiniest. For number one, because it's less than three, we're going to use the really hard rubber to rub out all the very brightest high spots. Now that is not an outline. That is just these very unusual tiny weeny little shapes. They're going to be rubbed out with the hard rubber for number one. Okay now that you've rubbed out all the little tiny dots that are number one I want you to take your charcoal and using the point mark out all the very darkest parts of the still life and they might be all over it probably under the drapery folds you'll find some very dark marks and under the base of the object so start marking out just those tiny weeny little shapes of where all the very darkest parts are in the shadows of the object okay now that we've done value number one and value number eight you can see that we're starting to come in uh, the tonal range right through into the center. So now we're going to go back up to the top again and do number two and for this we're going to use the soft kneadable rubber. So most probably you'll see the things that are value number two quite close to where number one is. Usually it, they blend into one another. So get out your rubber, do number two and then of course just keep progressing in. So from two then you go down to seven three you've already got on the page and then you go up six five four and you'll find that there are many more areas to cover the closer you get into the middle of the value range
So this, this should take quite a while to get right and you'll find that you can tune it up and then once you finish you can go back and add little touches of light and rub out a little more with your rubber and just correct it as time goes by.